investigation. You were silenced. <laughs> Megan Lynn is a fifth generation Jehovah's Witness who lives in California and spoke to us without her family's knowledge or approval. And then I hope to God they understand that I love them and I'm not doing this because I hate them. I'm doing this because I love children and I want them to be safe and this is the only way for them to be safe for us to put ourselves in the front lines. Even if it costs you your family. Yes. Megan is one of more than a dozen people who tell the Hearst National Investigative Unit they were victimized while members of the Jehovah's Witnesses Church and say their pleas for help went unanswered. Now they are silent no more. According to documents we've obtained, Pennsylvania Attorney General Senior Supervisory Special Agent Gary Talent is now looking into some of the allegations in his state. He's the same child predator section investigator who helped lead the state's blockbuster probe into the Catholic Church that last year revealed 301 priests accused of abusing 1,000 children. Those same Pennsylvania investigators could now seek access to a secret Jehovah's Witness database of accused abusers, filled with reports sent to the organization by congregations in special blue envelopes. How do you think the public would react if they saw that database? Erwin Zalkin is an attorney in San Diego. It's disturbing. In what way? There are a lot of children that are being affected very, very badly. You mean molested? Yes. Abused? Yes. You seem a little emotional about it. Yeah, it's hard to know what's in that and not be able to talk about it. Zolkin can't talk about it because of a California judge's ruling shielding the records from public view for now. Zolkin's firm, which has also represented Catholic abuse victims, got a decade's worth of documents after a years-long legal battle. But despite a court order, the Jehovah's Witnesses organization is still fighting, appealing to heavily redact the files. You're saying that the Jehovah's Witness organization has been more defiant than the Catholic Church? Yes. So the Pope has complied but the Jehovah's Witness Church has not. Right. Zolkin's team, which is believed to represent the largest number of alleged Jehovah's Witness abuse victims of any firm in the country, about three dozen, is now asking a judge to sanction the organization for the delays. Lawmakers aren't waiting. In California, a bill passed by the Senate would strip away clergy penitent privilege, requiring religious leaders of all faiths to report alleged child sex abuse. Twelve states have such a requirement, leaving 38 states with less protection for victims. This exemption has caused a lot of abuse of children. We need to stop it. State Senator Jerry Hill is the bill's sponsor. What we want to do is protect children, and that's what this bill does. How many of you support this type of a bill? Everyone. We asked the Jehovah's Witnesses about what these 13 told us. It said in a statement, Jehovah's Witnesses abhor child abuse as a sin and crime. Our policies on child protection comply with the law, including any requirements for elders to report allegations of child abuse to authorities. Our organization will continue to promote child protection education for parents. But for these former witnesses, their pain has now become a warning. It makes me sick thinking of all the children that are still in there yeah, right. every yeah. single yeah. day. It's because of the abuse here, I choose to make poor decisions in life. We need to protect our children. Yeah, we, have yes. we, we, we have an obligation to our children. In Sacramento, California, I'm Chief National Investigative Correspondent Mark Albert. And tomorrow, our investigation continues. Hear from a victim and a juror in the two biggest verdicts against the church in U.S. history.